let us solve a question on how to find equilibrium quantity when we are being given the cost function and the aggregate demand function. The question is like this. Assume that uh, cost function for ith firm in an industry is given by. We have the cost function for ith firm as ci is equal to 0 0.25 qi square plus 2 qi plus 5. i uh, is equal to 1, 2 up to 150. That means we have 150 identical uh, firms here where CI and QI are the cost and output for ith firm respectively. So CI and uh, QI denote the cost and output for ith firm respectively. Okay. Uh, let the aggregate inverse demand function be. We are being given the aggregate inverse demand as P is equal to 10 minus 0 0.01 Q where P is the unit price and Q is the aggregate output. Assuming perfect competition, the equilibrium quantity is, we have to find out the equilibrium um, quantity uh, in case of perfect competition, okay? So, what we are being given, we have the cost function as CI uh, uh, is equal to 0 0.25 QI square plus 2 QI plus 5, okay? This is our cost function. Uh, and this cost function represents all 150 firms. Okay, so we have same cost uh, function uh, for 150 firms. So if I simply write C is equal to 0 point for the sake of simplicity Q. So let us say this denotes uh, the cost function for all 150 identical uh, firms in that very industry. Okay, so we have the cost function. Also, we know that number of firms is equal to 150 here we are being given the aggregate that is p is equal to 10 minus 0 0.01 q this is the aggregate demand function what we are being told to find the equilibrium quantity as we know if um, uh, what we say that equilibrium uh, quantity could have been found if we are being given a demand function which is being given and also the supply function but demand function is being given supply function is not being given us to here so first we need to find out the supply function since we are given only the cost function so from this cost function we will derive the supply uh, curve for the individual curve, uh, firm first okay so since this is our cost function first step will be to find the individual uh, uh, firm's supply curve okay so as uh, first step will be to find the supply co supply co for individual individual firm okay <laughs> now we need to find out uh, the minimum of we need to find out the minimum of a v c okay how do we find the minimum of ABC? ABC denotes the average variable cost. We know in a perfect competitive firm, we know if this is our average variable cost ABC and we know that marginal cost cuts the ABC at its minimum point okay so we need to find out the minimum of abc this point occurs where marginal cost and average variable cost are equal and this uh, denotes uh, the curve above the abc is our supply function okay you know this stuff uh, very well so minimum of abc will be where marginal cost and average variable cost intersect each other okay so that means we need to find out the condition where our marginal cost is equal to average variable cost and uh, marginal cost which is above average variable cost is our supply curve for uh, an individual firm okay so you know this stuff very well that means we need to find out the marginal cost marginal cost is simply the derivative of total cost function with respect to q so 2 becomes coefficient 2 into 0 0.25 becomes 0 0.5 q plus derivative of q is 1 so we are left with 2 should be equal derivative of a constant is obviously 0 should be equal to average variable cost okay so what is our average variable cost this stuff is our uh, variable cost and this is our fixed cost okay this is fixed cost this is variable cost average variable cost is simply total cost upon q so 
this is 0 0.25 q square plus 2 q to this we divide the q so this q is divided to each of these terms so we get 0 0.25 q plus 2 this is our average variable cost so let me write it here 0 0.25 q plus 2 will be our average variable cost okay so let us um, solve this very for q okay so 2 and 2 will get here cancel so we have 0 0.5 q minus 0 0.25 q uh, is equal to 0 so 0 0.25 q is equal to 0 which means q is also equal to 0 okay so minimum point of avc occurs where q is equal to 0 okay then what will be the exact supply curve here so let us note the exact supply curve here so this is our let us say this is our graph this is our average sorry this is our marginal cost intercept is 2 so and this is slope 0.5 let us denote this is our marginal cost and our average variable cost is this 0.25 q plus 2 intercept is same here but slope is less okay so this is our average variable cost now minimum of avc occurs where marginal cost and avc intersect and these two uh, intersect each other when q is equal to zero so if we have q here quantity here and here on this axis we have the marginal cost and other stuff so minimum of a b c occurs where marginal cost and average variable cost intersect okay they intersect when q is equal to zero okay so this will be our uh, graph uh, what we call uh, the supply function for an individual firm and what will be the supply function then so uh, let me write it here so for a q greater than zero if our q is greater than zero we can see here our marginal cost will be above average variable cost marginal cost is above above abc you can see here when q is greater than zero this marginal cost is above avc so this is simply what does this uh, then mean it simply means supply curve is entire marginal cost curve okay so our supply curve uh, supply curve is entire entire marginal cost curve okay so this entire marginal cost curve will be our supply curve okay so also we know in perfect competition we know in perfect competition our price should be equal to marginal cost okay so you know this the condition for equilibrium uh, profit maximizing output rule yours the profit uh, sorry price should be equal to marginal cost okay so let us write it here so p should be equal to what is marginal cost which we calculated this is our marginal cost uh, 0 0.5 q plus 2 let us solve this for q so if we transpose here this becomes p minus 2 is equal to 0 0.5 q or uh, 0 0.5 is 1 upon 2 okay so this, we can write it here 1 upon 2 i will say this stuff here so we have 1 upon 2 so this comes here so we have 2 p minus 4 is equal to q okay or q is equal to 2 p minus 4 this is uh, the what we call the equilibrium quantity that one individual firm will supply okay so we got the individual supply curve but we need the market supply curve okay so uh, we need the market supply curve market supply curve is simply the summation of individual firms supply curve since uh, the firms are identical we have the cost function of one uh, one firm that means it will represent the cost function of other firms also that means our market supply market supply curve will be summation of individual firms since number of firms is 150 let us denote this with q that is capital uh, q is equal to 
सो मार्केट सप्लाई विल बी इक्वल टू नंबर ऑफ फर्म्स दैट इज 150 इनटू सप्लाई ऑफ इंडिविजुअल फर्म सो सप्लाई ऑफ इंडिविजुअल फर्म इज 2p minus 4 ओके सो लेट मी राइट हियर 2p minus 4 ओके आई होप आई एम मेकिंग माय सेल्फ क्लियर सिंपल थिंग दिस डिनोट्स द इंडिविजुअल फर्म्स सप्लाई को to get the market supply curve, we add up the individual uh, supply curve. Since we have 150 firms, so market supply will be number of firms times uh, the supply function of one firm. So this is 2p minus 4. So this comes out to be 150 into 2 comes out to be 300p uh, minus uh, 600 here. Okay. So this is our Q. So let us solve this for uh, p here okay if we solve this for p so we have 300 p is equal to q or let me write it here 600 so if i transpose this here it becomes plus uh, plus q okay or our p will be equal to 600 upon if i transpose this here it will get divided to each of these terms okay so three ones are three twos are that implies our P will be equal to 2 plus Q upon 300. Okay, this is our market supply curve. This is our my market demand curve. Now, equilibrium quantity can be simply found when we equate these two terms. Okay, so equilibrium will occur. Uh, should I rub something here? So, for this, let me see if I can rub something. So, let me rub this out here okay so we got we know that equilibrium occurs where quantity demanded is equal to quantity supplied quantity demanded is equal to uh, this very thing so i can write 10 minus 0 0.01 q should be equal to this uh, 2 plus Q upon 300 okay so equilibrium occurs where quantity demanded is equal to quantity supplied that means this is our demand curve this is our supply curve okay so we got the market supply curve this is market demand curve okay so equilibrium will occur at this point so if we solve so we can write it like 10 minus point uh, 0 0.01 can be written as 1 upon 100 q is equal to 2 plus q upon 300 okay uh, or we can write it like this 10 minus 2 is equal to q upon 300 uh, plus Q upon 100. I just transposed this to RHS. So we have 8 is equal to. So making denominator same here. So multiplying this with 3. So this becomes 3Q plus Q which is 4Q upon 300 which implies Q is equal to 8. If I transpose 4 upon 300 it will get reciprocated on other side. So we have 300 upon 4. 4 ones are 4 twos are two threes are six that means uh, we got 600 is equilibrium 600 is equilibrium quantity so if it is q this is price so equilibrium quantity we got 600 that means in this market equilibrium quantity uh, supplied will be equal to 600 okay so we know that uh, we have number of firms is 150 okay and total quantity transacted in the industry is 600 that means number of firms into quantity supplied by one firm should be equal to total quantity okay so this is number of firms this uh, q denotes uh, this small q denotes uh, number of what we call uh, goods supplied by one individual firm should be equal to the total uh, goods in the um, what we call this industry okay simple thing so we have here 150 into q should be equal to so total aggregate uh, quantity supplied is 600 to get the individual firm's uh, quantity supplied so this will be equal to q will be equal to just transpose this 150 here so we have q is equal to 4 
ओके पंद्रह पंद्रह तुर तुर के शेड सिंपल स्टेप ईच फर्म विल सप्लाई फोर यूनिट्स ऑफ आउटपुट ओके सिंस वी हैव 150 फर्म्स हियर सो टोटल क्वांटिटी सप्लाइड बाय 150 फर्म्स विल बी इक्वल टू फोर इनटू 150 व्हिच गिव्स अस 600 सो फॉर इंडिविजुअल फर्म द इक्विलिब्रियम क्वांटिटी विल बी स्मॉल क्यू व्हिच इज इक्वल टू फोर दैट मेंस ईच individual firm in equilibrium will uh, supply four units of output and equilibrium uh, quantity supplied in the market will be equal to capital Q that means total quantity supplied which is 600 okay since we are not being told here specifically uh, what is this equilibrium quantity whether it is for the individual firm or for total uh, market so the answer if you write 4 this will be also correct if you write 600 so this will be also correct okay thank you